swine flu transferable from factory farmed animals to humans. The combined swine bird human flu is causing a global health threat that is difficult to contain geographically due to mass transportation modes such as air travel. Thousands of people have been infected across continents with up to 159 lives lost so far in Mexico plus one confirmed fatality in the United States. In tracing the origin of the virus, Mexican officials have determined the country's earliest cases were in La Gloria, a town near a U.S. Mexican-owned pig factory farm that slaughters up to one million animals each year. Residents have long complained of the stench permeating the community, along with persistent swarms of flies coming from manure lagoons. Factory farm conditions such as these have long been viewed by public health officials as a threat to public safety. Prior to the current flu epidemic, my colleagueist Paul Stamets, an advisor to the University of Arizona College of Medicine USA, spoke with Supreme Master Television about the threat of pandemics arising from factory farm conditions. It's not just likely, it's extremely probable that pandemic flu will go human to human in the next 10 years. This is the biggest threat to biosecurity of nations throughout the entire world. In factory farming scenarios, the sheer volumes of animals confined to a small space in stressful and inhumane conditions means that once the virus enters a population, it is 100 times more likely to spread than in a free range setting. Hans Kreck, campaign director of the New Zealand-based animal protection group, SAFE, recently described a factory farming scenario. 20,000 pigs live in what, what are called sow stalls, and these are pregnant pigs, and they're kept in crates, and the crates are so small that the animal can't even turn around, so the pig can only stand up and lie down. They're just standing in a bare concrete pen, crammed in, you would just not believe how many pigs you can cram into a pen. And because this is out of sight, out of mind, it just carries on. Influenza is a zoonotic disease, meaning it originates in animals. New strains can easily develop and with contacts such as that found between factory farm workers and the animals can then transfer across species to become human transmitted, as explained by Dr. Gregory Gray, MD Director of the Center for the Study for Emerging Infectious Diseases at the University of Iowa, USA. Well, the influenza virus is an interesting virus in the sense that it's uh, zoonotic. It can move between species. And the viruses uh, have been seen, of course, in swine and humans uh, and birds. Uh, so anywhere where the different species uh, uh, mix, you have opportunities to jump species. And of course, within species, the viruses can be transmitted through uh, water, direct contact, uh, coughing, uh, uh, inanimate objects, etc. So there are a lot of ways these viruses can move around. In his studies of farm workers, slaughterhouse workers and veterinarians, Dr. Gray has found that those working directly with the animals have the highest incidence of zoonotic flu viruses and can thus be the human bridge bringing the disease into the community. We have found evidence, uh, higher uh, statistical evidence of previous infection with animal viruses among the people with occupational exposure to pigs and chickens than those people who have no such exposures. In, in one instance, uh, some of the swine workers had uh, uh, an odds ratio uh, of evidence of elevated antibody titers against swine viruses that was about 50 times higher than university uh, people who did not have exposure to pigs. So uh, relatively strong evidence that those swine workers their immune system had seen pig viruses before. With the billions of animals raised from meat production around the world, so many on factory farms, the likelihood of disease transmission seems high indeed. We thank Mr. Stamets, Mr. Creek, Dr. Gray, and all others involved in helping us better understand the current alarming situation as we also send our heartfelt prayers for the people affected by this new flu. May this incident awaken us to the need to protect our health and avoid such animal-derived diseases through the plant-based diet.